Okay, in my previous videos we worked out the area of a triangle given the, the coordinates uh, in uh, a number of different ways and we arrived at this particular formula. So this, this uh, video will be how, uh, explaining how to work out this formula or prove that formula. So I'll just zoom this in a little bit for you so you can get closer for you. There we go, let's start this. Okay, now, <clears throat> here we have the triangle, and here are the various coordinates. To calculate this, this area here, we need to find the area of the rectangle, and then we'll take this area here, one, two, and three, and we'll work out the various areas of the triangles, and subtract that from the rectangle, and that will leave us with the area of the, the triangle, which we we want. Okay, so first of all, the area of the rectangle will be equal to, now that will be x3 minus x1, x3 minus x1 times y2 minus y3. Okay, it's y2 and that's y3. So it gives that distance there. Now, we'll take the first one, area 1. Area 1 will be equal to half of, and this will be x2 minus x1 times, the other one is y2 minus y1. The second area, this one here, will be x3 minus x2, okay, x3 minus x2 times y2 minus y3. And the third one, a3, will be a half x3 minus x1 x3 minus x1 times y1 minus y3 okay now we've got the area of the triangle is equal to this so now we'll expand that out we get that's going to be x3 y2 minus x3 y3 minus x1 y2 plus x1 y3 now we'll do the same thing with the other areas but we'll keep the half out the front okay and for the first um, first one area one that's x2 y2 minus x2, y1 minus x1, y2 plus x1, y1 and this one is a half outside of x3, y2 minus x2, y2 plus x2, y3, minus x3, y3. This one is a half outside of x3, y1, minus x3, y3, minus x1, y1 plus x1 y3 now that gives a total that's equal to magnet the asterisk minus a half outside of 
We're going through this very, very carefully and collecting your like terms. You get minus x2, y1, minus x1, y2, plus x3, y2, plus x2, y3, plus x3, y1, plus x1, y3, minus 2x3, y3. Okay, now <clears throat> we, re we rewrite the, uh, the area of the triangle, sorry, the area of the rectangle out as x3, y2, minus x3, y3, minus x1, y2, plus x1, y3, and then by multiplying throughout by the half and changing the signs, we get that's plus a half x2, y1, plus a half um, x1, y2, minus a half x3, y2, minus a half x2, y3, minus a half x3, y1, uh, minus a half x1, y3, plus x3, y3. And these x3, y3 cancel out. Now, that becomes a half x3, y2, minus a half x1, y2, plus a half x1, y3, plus a half x2, y1, minus a half x2, y3, minus a half x3, y1. Alright, almost there. This becomes a half outside of. Now, <clears throat> we're just going to rearrange this a little bit. And this is a nice part of it x3, y2, minus x2, y3, plus x2, y1, minus x1, y2, plus x1, y3, minus x3, y1. And of course, all these guys are the, the determinants. And this becomes a half outside of required result, x3, y3, x2, y2, plus x2, y2, x1, y1, plus x, x1, y1, back to the beginning, x3, y3. And that's, uh, that's the, the proof. Okay, here's an, a little addition to it. Now remember that um, x from the diagram, x1, y1 was the first point. Then we had x2, y2, and x3, y3. Now, if we take the point um, at point x1, y1, and we move that back to the origin, was on the origin, right? We get a very simple thing because we put, we put zero all through here, zero there and there. This makes this determinant zero, makes this determinant zero. So if this point was on the origin, then the area of the triangle is simply a half outside of x3 oh, determinant, we don't need that, it's a half outside the determinant, x3, oops, sorry that, x3, y3, x2, y2, and that's pretty simple. If something else happens, say if we said, well, are we going to um, move every, all those points back to the origin, right, and make x1, y1 the origin, then we're going to subtract x1, y1 from each of these. So a simpler form, formula could be um, that's x3 minus x1, y3 minus y1, and this one would be x2 minus x1, and y2 minus y1, if you want to use that one instead of that one. I actually like this one because it sort of rolls along quite nicely, but 
you know, is a choice for you. But particularly if you're at the origin, where you've got a very simple, extremely simple area to determine.